it's J.R. Kieber. This is going to be a video about my 2x2x5 that I made. Now, uh, this is a giant puzzle, as you can see, and I've had to get a little bit of a different camera angle in order to get the whole thing in frame. So, um, basically, I think I'm going to start out with a size comparison just to show you how amazingly giant this cube is. If you compare it to a 3x3, three three, it's not even two layers tall like that. It was made out of a uh, Rubik's 4x4 so it's not the, grace, uh, it's not the greatest um, turning quality but basically the way I made it was I took a 4x4 and then what I did is I um, took the pieces and I extended them up one layer except I didn't put the center pieces in then what I did is I took the uh, 4x4 center pieces and I rounded them and so that they would turn independently and then I extended up the rounded center pieces uh, one cubie and then I glued on these extensions here which I uh, built out of Legos and I actually did use a couple of dice but you might be able to tell that these were made out of Legos and uh, after that I just spray painted it and um, some of the paint has worn off like here and some other places and then I cut the stickers which is the first time I had ever cut custom stickers I think and I didn't do that great of a job at it so the turning these outer layers they turn very very well but sometimes they can catch but these inner layers one of them turns okay because I've sanded it down and uh, it, it turns alright but the other side is really just horrible. So, um, uh, I made this mod a long, long time ago before I was very, uh, actually very advanced in puzzle building. So it didn't come out all that great. But, you know, I think uh, for what it is and how few there of these there are in the world, I really like it. So I'm going to give it a checker pattern. You might be able to tell that I have the um, the Japanese color scheme on here, uh, and that's because when I uh, solve it, which I rarely do because it's such a fragile puzzle and I can break very easily, um, the white and the yellow are very similar to each other, but the blue and the uh, and white are not similar. So when I have it scrambled, I can tell them apart uh, very easily. So here's a checker pattern. Looks very nice. And, um, but, again, the turning quality isn't very great, and I don't use it very much just because of how fragile it is and that it can break. These pieces are a bit wobbly, and, um, so they can uh, wobble, and this doesn't shape shift because it doesn't follow the shape-shifting rules. My inspiration was from Tony Fisher's uh, 2x2x7 that he made, and uh, he said he uh, was going to make a 2x2x5, and so I thought, hey, I might, wait, I might make a 2x2x5, and I figured out how to do it myself, and I did it. Cutting corners is, like, out of the picture. I mean, it can cut on the top, but, I mean, you try to do it this way, impossible because it was made out of Rubik's 4x4 and um, I thought about remaking it but I just thought you know this is I, I, I think this this is a very special cube to me and I would never um, I would never sell this or do anything with it I would never throw it away I would never do anything because this is this is a very special cube to me so that's my 2x2x5. Two by two by I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye!